It's said that Disneyland, Disney World and Disney in general are the happiest places on earth. Whether you watched Cinderella on repeat as a child, or you've been binging Disney films as an adult, Disney has had a huge impact on so many of our lives. But behind the cheery musical numbers and the smiling cast members, the Disney parks hold a much darker truth. Whether you believe these spooky tales or choose to wave them off, Disney has battled many odd rumours, some of which staff barely deny. One of the most well-known ones is that of Walt Disney's ghost. Walt Disney is a household name, and with all that work he's put into establishing Disney and bringing joy into the lives of so many children, it shouldn't come as a surprise that he wasn't willing to leave it behind when he passed away. Main Street in Disneyland features a firehouse, with a small apartment above it. When work began on the park on July 16th, 1954, Walt Disney himself requested to be put in it, to give himself a space to work early mornings and late nights, so that he could oversee the park. When the park opened just a year later on July 17th, 1955, he began to utilise a small apartment, just 500 square feet in size. The eerie tale allegedly begins when a cast member turned off the lights within the apartment when they were closing the park up. However, when they left the building, they noticed the light was still on. Assuming she'd made a mistake, she went back up, turned off the light and left the building, only to notice the light on again. This time, the cast member ensured the lamp was physically unplugged, left the building and once again saw the light from the window. When the cast member went up yet again to turn the light off, she reportedly heard a voice, presumed to be that of Walt Disney himself, that simply said, I'm still here. As a tribute to Disney's work ethic, the light remains on in this apartment at all time, just in case his ghost is still working away, overseeing the company and watching over the park. Other cast members have mentioned hearing footsteps from that small apartment, saying that Disney seems to be putting in the long hours just as he did when he was alive. Disney passed away in 1966 of lung cancer, and only ever saw the completed construction of the California Park. It certainly is understandable why he would not want to leave. Now if you visit Disneyland, you can access the apartments via a behind the scenes tour, and see the space or if you look up the main street, you should be able to see the lights in the window of the firehouse apartment. Another place of interest to paranormal researchers is that of the Haunted Mansion. One legend circulating Disney are the sightings of ghosts within the Haunted Mansion. Although this sounds as though the park's guests may just be very impressed by the animatronics, lights and acting, the accompanying tale and bizarre sightings indicate a genuine haunting at the mansion ride. A photographer hired to capture footage and photographs of the Haunted Mansion for Disney's online content initially saw nothing unusual or out of the ordinary on the ride, with it functioning and operating smoothly, and the shoot seemingly being successful. The only ghosts he spotted were those created by Disney. It is the Haunted Mansion after all. When looking back at the photos taken, the wispy face of a young boy is visible from one of the doom buggies, turning backwards to face the photographer. The photographer is insistent on not having seen a boy of that age on the attraction, queuing for the ride nor being around the nearby area. This seems fairly easy to dismiss so far. Shadows and odd lights here and there. It can be easy to make out a face when there really isn't anything there. But this strange story is only just the beginning. In 1994, a mother asked Disney if she and her family could spread the ashes of her deceased son in the haunted mansion, as it was the boy's favourite ride. While Disney did have to refuse this request, the family was granted some extra time on the ride in his memory. During the ride, however, they noticed the family throwing a powdery substance over the edge of the ride's doom buggies. The assumption was that these were the boy's ashes, and so the ride was promptly shut down and cleaned. Despite the quick cleaning action, since then there have been some strange occurrences surrounding the haunted mansion. 
one guest recalled a young boy running around the mansion's ballroom, only for staff to search and find no one. Though most people who've seen the child have spotted him next to the exit of the Rhine. Numerous park visitors have seen a crying boy, who when they approached to offer help, has seemingly disappeared. Since this is the most frequently reported instance, the legend has become known as the crying boy. Some people also believe they may have spotted this ghost on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Requests for ashes to be spread at Disney parks are apparently more common than you think. The last place of interest is that of the Tower of Terror. One of Disney's most iconic rides is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, with various versions of the attraction being found across multiple Disney parks. However, the Disney's California Adventure Park's Tower of Terror was that little bit more frightening than others, before it was rebuilt as the Guardians of the Galaxy's Mission Breakout Attraction. Perhaps the strange happenings were the reason behind this remodel. A clip taken in April 2014 showed mysterious footage from the ride's routine maintenance inspection. At the end of each day, the bell hops the Royal Disney cast members assume when working on the Tower of Terror ride, ride the attractions themselves, ensuring everything is functioning smoothly. In the footage uploaded of one of these checks, a figure can be seen to appear and vanish multiple times from behind the employee. Further into the video, another human-like shape can be seen to sit next to an empty seat beside the employee with the arms appearing to be folded and legs crossed over one another. Some say this figure was just a reflection of the light emitted during the ride, and others say the ghost is more likely from where other security tapes have overlapped. Plenty of people do claim they can make out distinctive features, eyes, a face and a clear body, which would not be possible if the shape was simply light. Many paranormal researchers are convinced by this video, Another video taken in 2009 shows a similar ghost-like figure by the windows of the tower, where the elevator doors open during the ride. Here the ghost appeared to stand up before disappearing once again. The speculation as to who the ghost may be has quickly been narrowed down to a former Bell Hotcast member who passed away on shift. Some report the cause of this loss of life was from a heart attack while others say the cause was unknown to the public. The cast member passed away on Platform D, where some mysterious events have transpired since. At the end of each day when cast members do the end of the day run, apparently it's common practice now for Platforms A, B and C to be done separately, and then they all complete Platform D together, because the ghost has been said to enjoy messing around with the employees. Though none of the actions credited to the ghost have been dangerous or caused harm, they do certainly add to the tension of the job. The pretend ghost from within the ride would be off cue, lights would flicker, and the ride would sometimes freeze despite it running smoothly throughout the entire day. Although this former employee reserves his playful pranks to staff, park guests certainly have had their fair share of sightings. Apparently, if you're in the boiler room of the Tower of Terror, the ghost can be seen in your peripheral vision, though the ghost disappears when you look directly at it. Are the sightings and strange experiences the result of an overactive imagination, or is the Tower of Terror home to the ghost of the Bellhop cast member? Disneyland and Disney World are for some the happiest places on Earth. Despite some of these ghost stories being based upon all four events, Disneyland seems to be keeping these fans employees and even Disney himself happy and entertained during the afterlife. These mysterious secrets linger around the Disney parks, but are they urban legends? Or is there something more to be discovered on your next visit to Disney? Whether you think these rumours are nothing more than spooky tales to accompany the more frightening rides, or the ghosts are haunting the attractions, it would seem that Disney definitely has a darker side. So what do you make of these mysterious Disney secrets? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.